I'm, I'm, I'm curious as an astrobiologist, a person who's been studying the planets and our universe since he was a kid, what do you think about the path the new White House is leading the country on and the world for that matter? And, you know, there's talk of dismantling the EPA, a complete disregard for the consensus of scientists on climate change and the list goes on. And uh, as well as a musician, uh, the defunding of, you know, art institutions, it's, you know, it's a, it's a little scary. Um, yeah. do, do you think we should be worried? It, absolutely, uh, I'm worried. Uh, we, um, you know, science is under threat right now in this country um, by the new administration. Um, we've been told that, uh, you know, we're getting very mixed signals of whether they think climate change is a hoax, but certainly the, uh, the uh, new um, president uh, is on record saying he thinks it is. That in itself is really alarming. You know, because uh, if there's any fact about the world that we need to integrate as a nation and as a global culture for our well-being, it is that climate change is very real and that we have responsibilities due to that fact. So that in itself is alarming. And then there's all this talk about maybe they'll tell NASA not to do earth science, which is crazy because uh, it, earth science at NASA, of course, isn't just about climate. It's about just monitoring our world for all these obvious reasons, natural disasters and being able to grow better crops and fisheries. And, you know, it's like we'd be flying blind if we didn't have earth observations and earth modeling. So I am very concerned, but I also am sort of heartened by the pushback I see. A lot of scientists are uh, and people who care about and know about science are saying, no way. You know, there's there's an awakening, a, uh, a, a um, sort of breaking of complacency maybe that we've had. So I'm not sure how all this is going to uh, play out, but I certainly intend to be engaged and encourage other people to be engaged and, and pay attention because this, this is very important. You know, we cannot turn away from science as a country or as a global civilization uh, without really getting ourselves in much worse trouble. Um, but I am constitutionally an optimist, and so I um, believe, I hope, that this is a blip and that the inexorable overall trend is towards um, you know, we're, we're clearly going to change our energy system. I mean, fossil fuels are on their way out. Maybe not fast enough, but clearly they're on their way out. In 100 years, we're not going to be on fossil fuels. So it's like, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Let's try to push it towards the easy way, meaning less pain and less damage. Uh, I think 100 years from now, we're going to be repairing the damage we're doing now. But let's, let's try to uh, make that less necessary by s transforming our, our energy system as quickly as possible. And the new administration is not helping in that regard, but I am encouraged by the fact that a lot of people seem to be um, making a lot of noise about that, which we need to right now. Yeah, now I'm with you on that. Um, so for you guys, if you want to keep this conversation going, just, you know, you can type right into the comments below or uh, you can reach um, David here at Dr. Funky Spoon on Twitter. That's a Dr. Funky Spoon. And uh, you can reach me at, at Steve Spoletta. Thanks for watching and uh, keep looking up. Space.com.